guys what is going on my name is noj456 and we just finished up a 30 minute stream on infinity wards twitch channel it was absolutely awesome because we got our first look at call of duty infinite warfare zombies in spaceland and not only that but we actually got our first look at the intro cutscene and we got a little bit of storyline background information to check out so i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the cutscene we're gonna come back and we're gonna talk about it a little bit after that kind of do a little breakdown seeing about what we saw and uh and kind of diving in with this so i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the cutscene here we go master of the macabre for over 40 years i directed the most terrifying visceral and bloody scenes ever committed to film my contribution to horror is nothing short of genius. Before my retirement, people demanded to know my secret. How did I make it all look so real? <laughs> if you really want to know how the sausage is made in a Willard Wyler picture, the recipe is simple. First, you add actors. Then, you start grinding. Hello? Hey! Anybody here? This is the place, right? I feel like we're being set up for some punk-ass reality show. This is a Willard Wyler production. One time he held an audition on an abandoned steamship and then sunk it just for effect. Wait, you mean with the actors on it? Yeah, I, I, was, uh, I was just getting in the character. <laughs> <laughs> Willard Wyler? You're late. Welcome. You've all been chosen to play a unique role in my return to the big screen. My killer comeback. But I'll warn you now, my methods tend to be a little... <laughs> extreme. Is he kidding? I expect my actors to give it their all. Their blood. Their bodies. Everything to the performance. Thus... It is imperative we set the mood to ensure each of you fully commits to your character. What you're about to become a part of is a culmination of my life's work. The crowning achievement of my career. The first scene is set in the 1980s. I call it Zombies in Spaceland. Hang on to your seats! <laughs> he is so not kidding. You still say this is all for effect? Forget what I said! I say, get me the hell out of here! What's with the Letterman jacket? And the bling! It appears our wardrobes reflect the parts we're auditioning for. And clearly, I'm the nerd. Ugh, you've got to be kidding me. He shoots! He scores! So obviously Willard Wyler is this movie maker who had not been in commission for a long, long time. Obviously it says that his uh, his entire studio is closed permanently. He's kind of been run down and he hasn't really been heard of in a long, long time. But he, we, we basically know that he is this kind of like eccentric movie maker. He has these weird, weird kind of ways that he does things and he really, really likes to sell his actors into making them the best they can be. So obviously they all show up at his studio. He's kind of this creepy, this creepy looking dude who, who kind of ominous looks at him and is just like hope you're ready this is gonna be kind of like extreme acting methods and everything like that so our characters go and sits down and he explains to them that basically they're gonna be going into the movie and uh and then we find out it's a zombies uh, it's kind of like a zombies movie 
that is based in the 80s. It's obviously this horror movie in this theme park, which is Zombies in Spaceland. So uh, he basically talks and he lets them know that they they're not going to enjoy. It. They're all kind of like they're all kind of nervous here, and uh, he goes into the mo the uh, movie making room or the, uh, the the little projector room, and he he performs this ritual. He slices his hand. He puts the blood all over. We see all these different circles and kind of like a ritualistic pattern with uh, obviously all four of our characters and their photos on the floor. He slices his hand and performs his blood ritual and the characters go into the game and they kind of, they, they seem self-aware at first. They kind of realize, hey, we're, we're, I'm the jock, you're the nerd, you're the valley girl, whatever. And then they immediately get into character and it seems like they kind of assume the characters that they're playing almost immediately. Like the valley girl stabs someone and she goes, oh, gag me. Like that is not something that the same girl who's sitting there a second ago would have said. It's just completely assuming the character that she is now playing and I think that's an interesting aspect obviously all the different DLC maps uh, are just going to be kind of like different ways that uh, that are going to be kind of like portrayed in movies so each kind of DLC I think is going to be a film reel or something like that that we go into maybe these characters stay with us maybe they end up dying in the 80s but making really really good movies maybe it's different characters every time we're not really sure this may be kind of like the uh, the star studded cast that we start off with and then it kind of changes from there because these all are actual actors and everything like that that portray the voice so it'll be interesting to see I wanted uh, I'm really really interested to see where you guys think it'll go if you guys think it will be the same characters different characters the storyline seems pretty straightforward of like what we're supposed to find out so far however Lee Ross did say there's a few kind of Easter eggs in there so we're definitely gonna have to dive into that and I'm really really excited for this game to come out and dive into the actual Easter eggs in the map so let me know what you guys think and I'll see you guys in the next video appreciate you guys watching and bye bye